Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Earthbound. I am Adoram, and as I mentioned, we were heading back to, uh, nope, we're heading back to use healing to cure a sunstroke. But we're heading back to the hole where the, uh, oh, I don't even know his name. Uh, but he mentioned he was digging for gold. Uh, I believe this is him right here. Uh, and he found a maze, apparently, down here, and lots of monsters appeared. And there's five big moles that we're going to have to defeat so that he can continue digging for gold. Or, uh, I think it was diamonds, actually. Uh, and this is going to be, it looks the same as this, the spider, the snake that we saw earlier in the game. But this is actually the thirsty coil snake, which is an enemy that can poison you, which is a little bit annoying. But we should be able to take it out with a round of physical attacks. Or not. Okay, uh, one more round should do it then. Uh, I mean, I guess we can start using some PSI here and there, but I don't I don't think that enemy is that big a deal other than the fact that it can poison you. Uh, and I don't really remember what other kind of enemies you can face up in here other than the moles themselves. Uh, open another snake. Okay, and continuing on up this way. Uh, like the... Uh, I, I wish I knew his name. I feel like it starts with an M, but I may be getting confused with Mr. Monotoli in Foresight, but, uh, yeah, so I'll just be calling him that guy, the Diggy guy, I don't know. Uh, anyways, here's the third, uh, mole of the hole, uh, and he is the third strongest, so we're gonna go ahead and take him on. And I'll probably go ahead and show all of these on camera, there's a little bit of a number three in the back, so you know he's the third. Uh, let's see here, is there anything, um... Let's try and lead off with Paralysis. We do have five of these to take on, so we do have a bit of a chance to figure out what works the best. Uh, let's save PSI Freeze Gamma in case we need it for something else later on. And I guess we should probably use up some of these items in here because uh, Ed is running out of space in his inventory. Use the HP Sucker, which does not work. Okay. I feel like those items never work. Like, I always try them just to see what happens, but they never seem to work for me. Uh, and the paralysis does not work either. Okay, so I guess... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, recover, life up, Katie. Bash, bash. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, you can do it. Oh, power shield! Oh, no! Okay, well, this has been disastrous so far. And, yeah, he does have a shield. So if you try and hit him... Oh, that did a lot, too. Okay, so we gotta get another life up off. And I think Ed had the life noodles. Uh... But yeah, he does have a power shield so he can bounce your... Oh crap, I didn't mean to use the broken laser. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> this is the third worst episode I've ever created. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. Uh, might as well go for a PSI Boom Alpha, I guess. And then let's get those life noodles out. Using the broken laser does not do anything. <laughs> Alright, so we're back now and that thing is doing a lot of damage. Holy cow! Holy cow! Are we not ready for this yet? Um, okay. Well, let's go for life up beta, make sure we get that, that HP back, um, PSI freeze, gamma, yeah, we're gonna have to go all out here, this is crazy, I don't remember these guys being this tough, uh, are we just getting unlucky, uh, okay, there we go, jeez, and that guy's only the third strongest, you know, I, I can only imagine what the other four are gonna be like, uh, anyways, we did get a level up, but yeah, I don't think we're really that under leveled, uh, okay, we do have an item up here, and that is the IQ capsule, which we'll go ahead and use right away, uh, just to get it out of our inventory, and is there anything else? Oh, I didn't mean to use it on Ben. Oh, you know, I, I really should just go back to an earlier save state and start over at this point, because this episode has been a disaster so far, but I feel like that'd be kind of cheaty. I already started, you know, uh, I guess we're just got to take these failures with, with, blah, blah. I can't talk either. We're going to take these failures with stride and keep on going. Is there really anything we can get rid of here? Can we get rid of the red ribbon? Because we have a better item now. Uh, yes, we can. Uh, what does the calorie stick do? Uh, where did that go? Calorie stick. I think that's probably a healing item. Use it on Katie. Max out HP. That's good. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's probably good for now. So, we still have four more moles to take on. Uh, and that guy was the third strongest. So I can imagine we're probably going to face off against some more difficult ones uh, coming up here soon. Uh... So yeah, and I feel like there's probably one at the end of this hallway down here, possibly. Uh, maybe not. There is a duck, though. Uh, and he's running away from us. That's kind of odd. Oh, that's right. This, this is probably the duck that we encountered in uh, the Dungeon uh, dungeon Man's Maze, uh, a.k.a. Brick Road. And I believe this one is a new enemy. The Noose Man. I don't think we've seen him before. Uh, and let's save our PSI for when we actually get to the encounter. 
Uh, oh, we lost the PP. Uh, let's wait till we get to the encounter with uh, another mole before we use that PSI up, because we don't want to waste it. And that noose man was pretty easy to take out, so I guess we don't have to worry about that. I don't think the regular enemies in here are that difficult, honestly. I think it's really just the moles you kind of have to worry about. So, heading down this way, there's probably going to be one down this way. Uh, yeah, now that I think of it, it looks like that would be the case. Okay, and... Okay, we're all good. Uh, I saw a status on Ed at one point, but it went away on its own. It was not poison then, but poison is what Katie has at this point in time, so we got to make sure we heal her up, and uh, healing... Uh, alpha does not cut it, so we're going to go with healing beta. Uh, do we have any PSI caramel? Oh, yes, we do. Uh, PSI caramel, caramel. We had this discussion already. Caramel, I said it right the first time. For some reason, I thought I didn't say it right the first time. Uh, so anyways, we're going to fight off against the... Oh, wait, he, we already fought that one. Okay. Uh, so now we're going in circles, so that's always a good thing. Uh, yeah, th this episode has been a disaster. Uh, I, I feel like I probably should stop recording and start over at this point, but uh, I'm not going to be doing that. And let's try and scroll those enemies off the screen a little bit. Uh, I guess we have to fight this guy. Okay, and now we need another heal for Katie. Uh, I mean, I, I did go to the hotel before I head out. I headed out this way, and I did get all my PSI points back, but at the same time, this is the entrance, isn't it? I don't know, I'm so lost right now. Uh, mm, I feel like this has got to be the entrance, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm mixed up where I am. Okay, there's a present here we haven't gotten yet, so I will go ahead and pick that up. But, uh, anyways, as I was saying, let's go ahead and give that big bottle rocket to Ed. He does have space for it, so that's good. We may end up using that in the next uh, next battle against the mole. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I was heading back over here. I got a couple of sunstrokes, had to heal those off, so that's why I'm a little low on PP. Okay, and now we need to go ahead and heal up Ed now. Uh, because of those snakes that keep poisoning us, so that's a little bit uh, annoying. And we might need to make a run out of this place uh, after our next mole encounter, because we have, are having a bit of difficulty. Uh, so we head in here, there are some exit mice down there, I'm not going to worry about those because the exit mice... Well, actually, let's go ahead and pick one up, because after we, after we fight this next mole, we may need to get out of here uh, to go ahead and heal up. Uh, since we're having a bit of difficulty. Uh, usually I don't take those because they kind of clog up your inventory, uh, and right now we have a full inventory, so we better start using some stuff here. Uh, croissant is pretty useless. Let's go ahead and use that up. Uh, that didn't do anything, so I guess we have one free space, uh, and we'll probably end up using some of those items in the next battle we have with a mole. And here comes a phone call from our dad yet again. I feel like I get a lot of those. Uh, no, we don't need to take a break. But, of course, that's because, as I said before, I do use save states, and rather than actually using the in-game save option. So the game thinks that I'm not saving, like, ever, so uh, that's the reason for that. And we are running out of healing here, so uh, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> I didn't anticipate having this much difficulty with this area. But anyways, here's the third mole we're going to face over here. Uh, he's the third strongest mole in this maze, so we're going to go ahead and take him on now. And, um, gee, how do we want to do this? Do we have any goods we can lead off with? Do we have any items we can use? Can we use a big bottle rocket? Uh, I guess we can. Okay, and let's go ahead and use Freeze Gamma. Gamma. Ugh, I can't pronounce words today. Oops. Uh, don't want to use the Magnum Air Gun. That's not going to do anything. Uh, let's go ahead... Defense Spray on Ed? Uh, just to make sure we don't get knocked out. Uh, Freeze Gamma. Gamma does a lot, but I could not use the... Okay, well, that, I guess that makes sense. Ouch, I'm glad I had the defense spray up. Okay, so we can't use that. Uh, I, I probably should have realized you need to have that on Ed. Uh, and let's go ahead... Uh, we do have the PP for us. So let's go ahead and go, go for another PSI Freeze Gamma and defend with Ed uh, just so we can get that heal off and make sure he's okay. And that's it for number three. That was the third strongest mole, and we took him out uh, fairly easily. Uh, this time, so next time, I mean, let's just keep going with the freeze gammas. Uh, gammas can't speak. Uh, I think we should be okay with that. We do have an item up here we're going to pick up. It's a coin of defense. Coin of defense. Oh yeah, that's a bit of an improvement. Let's go ahead and equip that, and uh, we're going to have to do some messing with inventory again. Uh, bottle rocket needs to go to... 
Ed, who does have room for it, so that's good. We may end up using those in a couple of our next battles. And let's see, the chicken, can we eat the chicken? No, <laughs> you can't eat the chicken. Uh, that was stupid, we could have used that for money, uh, but apparently I'm just a dummy. Uh, the picnic lunch, we can use that to heal up Ed, uh, so that'll be nice. We got him healed up a little bit. Uh, I think he'll be good for the next battle, and then we'll probably start using those big bottle rockets. We might be able to knock out the moles in two hits. If we do a freeze gamma and a bottle rocket, that should be pretty good. Uh, in here, I was almost wondering if there'd be a mold in there, because I saw a, uh, a present. And we have a new enemy over here. This is the... Uh, wait for it. The Gigantic Ant. So this is basically a reskin of the ant we saw way back in Giant Step. Uh, so yeah, that's an interesting thing to see. Let's go ahead and go for Fire Beta. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, I'd imagine it'd do a decent amount because this is an ant. Uh, I wouldn't say the ants like fire that much, so yeah. And let's do PSI Mag... No, don't do that. Uh, okay, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, don't mind if you take uh, PP points from Ed because he does not have any. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like it's probably pretty similar stats-wise uh, to the one in Giant Step. Except, of course, it's now a regular enemy, which is uh, kind of interesting. That's actually something that happens at, at least a couple more times in this game, uh, where you see an enemy that was once a boss is now uh, recolored, and holy cow! Holy cow! Okay, well, luckily, all those noose men were all in a row, so I managed to hit them with PSI fire, but still, that was a lot! That was a lot! There was like six of them! Plus a duck! Of course, the duck doesn't really do too much, but still, that was a lot! Uh, anyways, I think over this way, there's a present. Uh, we will take that, of course. There's a teddy bear! That will be very helpful for taking some hits, uh, and hopefully saving us from poison at least once or twice. That would be very nice. And in here is the exit mice we've already been over there. Uh, we might be able to make it through here without making an exit. Uh, oop, I guess we're fighting that new spam. Okay, and let's go ahead and check this way out before, uh, yeah, before we go down the ladder, because we do have the third mole we're going to take on over here, uh, whose strength falls between the second and fourth strongest masters. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the third strongest mole in this area. Uh, nice little number three behind him. And let's see, what do we want to lead off this, uh, Nope, what did I just do there? Uh, okay, so let's leave this off. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do here? Hmm, let's use the calorie stick and heal Ed so we don't use any PSI there. Uh, this is the last PSI freeze gamma we have. Uh, let's go for the big bottle rocket. And hopefully at some point in here we can encounter a butterfly. That would be nice if we could do that. Uh, big bottle rocket's going to do 348, so that's a knockout. So it does only have uh, somewhere between 600 and 700 health, I think. Of course, this is the third strongest mole, so uh, there's a possibility the first and second strongest could have some different uh, HP stats there, so we can do is watch out for that. Uh, PSI Caramel! Uh, that's very nice. We're going to need to give that to Katie. Uh, I mean, she already has it, but we need to tell her to eat it. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Crap. <laughs> uh, I really should start this episode over. Okay, so the giant ants can also use... Uh, poison on you, which is incredibly annoying. So we've had to use up a lot of our PSI yet again to heal that off. So let's see where this ladder goes. Hoping I run into a butterfly. I don't want to run into more of those guys. Uh, I'm kind of worried that if I keep going up and down these ladders though, I may run into a whole bunch of noose men like I did earlier. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I really don't want to fight you. I really don't. That's even worse. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to cycle through and get... Uh, I guess we'll deal with this. Okay, there's a level up, and as you can see, Katie got poisoned by the giant ant yet again. Uh, yeah, this is uh, getting a little bit annoying. We might need to make an exit pretty soon here, uh, just so we can heal up. And I probably need to just take stock of where I've been already, and I need to figure out what screen I'm in, because I need to be going to healing, and not to my goods. Uh, we might make an attempt to fight one more mole if we could find one. A super bomb? Could that be useful? Uh, it might be. <laughs> it could possibly be useful as long as we don't accidentally drop it. Uh, considering how this episode has been going, I was surprised I did not drop it there. And let's head up here. Uh, let's see if we can get those guys to go away. Because at one point, when I was scrolling back and forth, I got nobody up here. And there we go. We can get past that guy. Very nice. And we don't have to fight that one. Uh, they look more like spiders than ants, by the way, but 
Uh, that's probably just sprite limitations that we do have to fight this guy. Okay, and we're not doing very good on health right now, so I'm going to go ahead. Uh, we do have two more moles, I think, to fight. Let's use the exit mouse. Uh, it's going to find the way out and wave to it for us to follow, which is good. And we're going to head out here, and I believe there's a hotel in the desert a little ways down this way. So I will meet you guys back at the hole over there in a minute here. And yeah, we'll continue on. Okay, and here we go, heading back in, and we luckily did not get heat stroke at all on our way down here, so that's nice. Uh, and now I just have to figure out which way I've gone already. Uh, I don't really want to fight you. I, I really don't want to fight you. Uh, sorry I spend so much time in these episodes trying to scroll enemies off the screen, uh, but sometimes I just want to get on with it. But uh, anyways, I remember we came down this way at one point. Uh, I guess we do have to fight you. And there we go, it did poison me again as usual, but there's not much I can do about that. Uh, have we gone down this way? I feel like we have... I don't know though. Uh, I'm so lost, please help me. Uh, I don't remember ever having this much difficulty with this uh, area in the game. Uh, I do remember that present. Let's see if we can head back the other way, because I don't... I think we came down this way, and that's where we encountered a couple of moles. Now, the good news is we are getting quite a bit of experience from this, but... Uh, yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> we are getting quite a bit of experience. We're getting quite a few levels in this episode, but uh, we are using up a lot of our PSI, and we're also wasting a lot of time. Uh, I didn't mean to spend a whole episode in here. I thought that it would, you know, be done quicker than that. Uh, I thought we'd be able to get on some other stuff this video, but probably not. Uh, we're already up to like 20 minutes, I think, and... Uh, I mean, I do have some random battles to cut out, but at the same time, we are up to 20 minutes. Uh, so that's a bit longer than I thought it'd spend on this episode. I thought we'd be done with all these moles pretty quick. Uh, I don't think we've been through this way yet. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. I remember seeing that area. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to cut the video until we find the next mole. Because this is not getting me anywhere. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so here's a present we haven't gotten to yet, so we do have that, so that means we haven't gotten this delay just yet. And I've been running around here so much, and I keep wasting all of my PP on healing, I've had to exit a couple times, and uh, get all that back. So I'm trying not to encounter enemies, uh, because it's draining all my PP before I even get, in, get into any of the fights here. Uh, I guess we can take on these guys. Yeah, the ducks are not a threat at all, and the noosemen can... Can I kind of like stun you for a turn, but other than that, they're not too bad. So I guess I'll go ahead and take these on when I see them. After all, it is much preferable to fighting a gigantic ant or a uh, another one of the snakes because they keep draining my BP. So anyways, here's the third mole here we're going to go ahead and take on. Uh, he's the third strongest, and we're going to see how we measure up to the third strongest mole here. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's see, what should we lead off with here? We do have a bomb. I think anybody can use a bomb. Uh, I think it's just the uh, rockets that only Ed could use. Uh, since since we're using that bomb, we can just go in with a beta freeze and then a big bottle rocket, and that should kill it, uh, I believe. Uh, 285, pretty nice. 72, that's it, really? Oh, and it got deflected. Really? That's nice to know, I suppose. Uh, 434, very nice. Okay, so there we go. That's that uh, Guardian Digger down. Uh, and now that number three is down, uh, I believe we have one more left to go. So, uh, let's go ahead and pick up these items and see what they are. A luck capsule. Okay, that seems pretty nice to have. A platinum band. Okay, well, we definitely want to equip that. I believe that's an arm item. Oh, yeah, look at that increase in defense. That's going to be very helpful. Uh, especially since I think the next mole we're coming up against is the third strongest. And everybody knows, uh... The third strongest is the scariest one to take on. Uh, so let's take this luck capsule, and I'm, I, I think I probably mentioned that I don't know what luck does. <laughs> but I used it on my main character there, uh, just because I felt like that'd be the best idea. Oh, and by the way, I actually do have a map up uh, behind the game, because I've been having so much difficulty figuring out where to go. And I'm sure you guys don't want to watch any more of me stumbling around trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Uh, might as well fight this guy, since he is an instant kill. Uh, get just a little bit of experience, probably not very much. 14! Okay, that's not very much at all. Okay, and now I just gotta need to figure out uh, which one of these moles we have remaining that we have not yet taken on. Uh, I don't really want to fight those guys. I don't want to keep wasting all my PP on healing. 
that would be nice if that was the thing that I did not have to do. Uh, so this is where the exit mice are. There is a mole right to the north. I think we've got that one already. Uh, I think the one we need to get is the one when you go up around this way. Uh, go to the left and go up here. I, I don't want to fight that. I don't want to fight that ant. It, it looks more like a spider, by the way. That doesn't look like an ant at all. Uh, and I'm going to keep trying to scroll it off because I really don't want to have to waste my healing over and over again. Uh, I guess we're fighting it. And it didn't poison me that time, so that's nice. And uh, this is a pretty long route up this way, so I feel like this is probably the one we haven't gotten yet. Uh, and again, let's try and scroll that off. <laughs> uh, I, I hate to be cheaty like this. Okay, uh, well, I don't really want to fight the ant, though. Uh, I, I thought we were good there because I just saw the noose man, but... Uh, okay, that's better. I don't mind fighting all these noose men because they really can't do much to you. Okay, so, uh, then we go up this way, and this ladder will take us down to death, so let's not do that. Okay, that's much better. And then we gotta go over this way all the way, down a little bit, and then we'll come up against, uh, if I've done this right, we will come up against the third strongest mole who is not here. Uh, okay, so I, I think I know which one we missed then. Uh, it's actually gonna be back this way. No, no, go away. There we go, that's better, that's better, okay. Thank you, thank you kindly, okay. And a new span, and an ant. Since we do only have one mole left, I went ahead and just used PSI Freeze. I've been trying to save my PSI for the mole since there are five of them, but uh, I think we'll be okay. I mean, the next one is the third strongest, so I think we'll be uh, all right on that front, and I guess we're gonna have to fight this guy as well. I feel like I've had the most random battles to cut out of any episode in this this episode, and we already did this one as well. Um, okay, so we gotta go back up this way. Uh, I mean, I do have the map now. I know uh, which ones we fought already. Uh, well, actually, now, by process of elimination, we found one. We found two areas where one could be, and I know there's one that we fought for sure already. So the last one must be up here. Here he is, the third strongest mole. Uh, here he is, uh, we're gonna take him on right here, and he's gonna show us the true advantage of being third. Alright, so let's go ahead, uh, we probably need a bit more HP, so let's go ahead and heal that up. Uh, and we might as well go all out at this point with our, uh, freeze gamma, and let's throw, uh, let's throw a super bomb, see what that does. Uh, though that's gonna get reflected, isn't it? Oh, but his body solidified, so that's nice, so that means he's not gonna hit us back. Oh, and that's it, okay. Uh, I thought for sure that'd get reflected, and, uh, he'd end up, uh, living through a couple more attacks there. Uh, level up for Ed. Uh, there's probably quite a few levels there that I didn't show on camera, just because we've been making so many of them. And the last present here is a Guts Capsule. We'll go ahead, uh... Katie has that, so we'll just have Katie take that, I suppose. Uh, because I think I mentioned that she has the uh, the worst defense out of all of her team and the worst HP, so the Guts Capsule should be helpful for her. And heading down this way, and the enemies should be running away from us now, so that should make things a little bit easier. Uh, we can pick up an exit mice, right? Or an exit mouse, right? <laughs> uh, I'm glad we, tr we chose this mole as the last one, because we can go ahead and grab that exit mouse right there and make our way out. Uh, so yeah, that was perfectly planned. I totally did that all on purpose, uh, including the parts where I uh, was very stupid and ran out of PSI, but uh, anyways, uh, we are gonna not get our picture taken. Okay, and then continuing on, we are going to talk with uh, the guy whose name I do not know. Uh, we got rid of the monster. Monster? There were actually quite a few monsters, actually, more than one. Uh, and he's gonna start digging. Wait, what? Uh, just let me dig, you'll see I found buried gold. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead, head in here. I think this is the hotel? Uh, I believe so, yeah. The small house, please stay the night. Uh, so one of us is gonna sleep on the bed, one of us is sleep on the couch, and somebody's gotta sleep on the floor, so uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I'm not sure I'd want to sleep on that bed though, because it seems to have a spring loose, and that would be really painful if you rolled over on that. But I believe you just have to pass the night, and yeah, he seems to have moved, and he's going to be not up here. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to head into the in here again, maybe, possibly. 
Uh, no, he's not there either. Oh, you know what? I know what you need to do. Uh, I'm not sure how long we've gone on this episode. I feel like we've been going quite, quite a while, so I'll probably end it off pretty soon here. But, in order to get uh, Mr. Digger Guy, he has a name. He really does have a name, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, to get him to give you the diamond that you're going to need to uh, pay off the Runaway Fives debt once again, uh, you do have to actually leave the area. I thought maybe you just had to rest tonight. Uh, and then when I saw that he was gone, I thought maybe, oh, that's ha that has to be it then. And then I remember what actually has to happen. So we walk over this way, and uh, somehow he caught up to us riding on a steam shovel. Actually, that's not even him. Uh, Gerardo Montague. His name is Montague. Okay. Uh, hasn't found any buried treasure yet, but he did find a diamond. Does not that not qualify as buried treasure? Because I would consider diamond a, a treasure, but uh, oh well. Uh, so, anyways, I think we're gonna end off the episode here now that now that we've gotten the diamond. In the next episode, we're gonna pay off the Runaway Fives debt, and I think they have one more concert for us. Uh, and then, yeah, we have some other stuff to do after that. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Earthbound.